Hello humans! It's day seven, last day of the booktubeathon. I'm still a failure, in case you were wondering, but at least I can attempt the third video challenge for me. And today's video challenge is about talking about your favorite book, which probably I'm not the only one who had a momentary fit after hearing today's video challenge and thinking, what the hell, you never ask a reader what their favorite book is because <coughs> What even is our favourite book? So I chose two because, find me, I'm just, no, nope, nope. Gonna do a little thingy thing where I'll talk about my favourite book, but you, of course, honourable mention here. Six of Crows is my favourite YA book. Surprise, right? No one would have imagined that. Like, what? No. I mean, yeah, you guys know. I love Six of Crows, diverse characters, incredibly interesting characters, good pace, great plot, everything's great, black pages, mm, just an overall fantastic book, absolutely love it, go read it. No news, this is my YA favourite and it's been for like quite over a year so you know, it's just you guys know that. That's not, that's not a surprise. So, to actually talk about a book which I hardly mention on my channel because I rave about Six of Crows in like every video of mine. But there's a book which I really, really love, but I actually, I don't think I've ever mentioned on my channel. And it's The Perfume by Patrick Seuskind. I love this book. I adore this book. It is phenomenal in so many ways. It is just so good. And I read it for my German finals for graduation because the only book I've the only book I wanted to read for the last four years in my school in German was this book and we never read it and I was disappointed as hell. But then I chose it to read it for my finals and then it actually came on my orals exams and I was so hyped. And this came and I freaking rocked my oral exam. I got an A. Yay, because I love this book so much and when I got this paragraph, I just analyzed the shit out of it and I loved it and then I was there talking 15 minutes about just how cool this book is and I did well because of it, which was great. Uh, first of all, the writing style, amazing. I love Patrick Seuskin's writing. I've also read another book by him, The Pigeon, which is a very, very strange book, but I find well written nonetheless. And Patrick Seuskin just writes Phenomenal. I love the way he writes about people's lives because he can just treat an entire person's life in like 10 lines. He just describes the entire life up to the person's death in a paragraph or less. It's phenomenal. Like there are a lot of people who die in here, like not major characters, but just a lot of deaths in general. And when he he goes about telling that how the person lived and then died, it's just my favorite thing. <laughs> it sounds so gruesome, but it's it's just so great, so well written. And I love that he is such a savage because in the middle of the book, like the very middle, he just throws in a little line because this book is about scent. And this boy, Grenouille, um, he can smell different odours very well. So he tries to describe them somehow, but honestly, there aren't any words to describe how something smells. You always compare it to something which you kind of know how it smells. And in the middle of the book, Patrick Zeus can just is like, well, you know, what I just said is basically, you know, like kind of metaphorish because there aren't really any words to describe scent. So, you know, you just uh, like, don't, uh, yeah, it's just, I'm trying, all right? Um, like, you wrote an entire 300 page book about scent, but there aren't even any words to describe it. Like, you get how amazing that is. Like, Renui is such an um, intriguing character, I find, because really he, he's just so unlike any other character you've ever read about because of his sense of smelling stuff like it's just read it it's really intriguing and fascinating and i love it so much and it's such a good book like you should tr like read it it's so good maybe a bit horrifying i mean like in <clears throat> like it states he is a murderer so i don't know what you you cannot expect like that much <laughs> But he's amazing. He's this is an amazing book. Just go read it. It's phenomenal. Please don't watch the movie and come at me because the movie is garbage. It's 
so bad. Okay, like, um, I know they tried, but I'm so annoyed at certain aspects of the movie. They literally make me so mad, so incredibly angry because they got the most important details of the book wrong. Like, they tried, but it's... Mm, I hate it. I hate it. If you like, I can actually give you a book to movie analysis because I remember very well watching the movie and just being like, what the fuck? So yeah, The Perfume by Patrick Seuskin. Love this book. Freaking love it. It's amazing. Go read it. And that's it for today's challenge. And <laughs> yes, I'm going to edit the vlogs. Shut up. <laughs> I buy, by the way. But all we can do is decide where the wind